¿Qué hago? Hi everybody, good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hola, buenas noches. Ah, buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Bien, con frío, pero bien. <ríe> Creo que está lloviendo fuerte, ¿verdad? En... Yes. Yes. En muchas partes. Fíjense que no sé por qué el background no se ve muy bien. Estoy tratando de arreglarla, pero se ve como borroso, ¿verdad? Se mira igual que ayer, como a la mitad. Uh -huh. Vaya, ¿Cómo quiero ver. Lo... Y si cambio posición. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. Siempre se ve borroso. Yes. No sé por qué está dando ese inconveniente, porque en el curso anterior no, no me parecía ese error. Bueno. Quiero intentar, deme un minuto. Lo mismo se ve. Okay.
Ahora, ¿cómo se ve? Ahora sí. Ahora sí. A saber por qué está dando ese error. Bueno, las disculpas por el inconveniente. Eh, espero que todos estén bien y que hayan tenido un, bonit un bonito día. Vamos a dar inicio con esta clase. Eh, ¿Se recuerdan cuál fue el tema del día de ayer? And the month and the days. Okay. So those, I mean, the topic was related to month and dates. Excellent. Uh, let's see. I would like Brenda to ask uh, Perosley Rosales. Ask the question like, when's going to be your birthday? When is your birthday? My birthday is July 22nd. 22nd, thank you. Um, let's see, Berosli asked the question to Gabriel. Gabriel, when is your birthday. My birthday is on January 11. Okay. Uh, Gabriel asked the question to Leticia. Leticia, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on June 22nd. Okay, excellent. Um, before to continue, guys, please turn your cameras on, please. Enciendan sus cámaras, por favor. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see. Uh, Leticia asked the question to Elisa. Okay. Uh, Elisa, when is your birthday? My, my birthday is uh, March. ¿Cómo se dice tercero? March 3rd. March 3rd. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now ask the question to uh, Claudia. Yo. Yes. Elisa to Claudia. Claudia, when is your birthday? Claudia Gloria o oh, Claudia um, Yes, Claudia, my, when's your birthday? My birthday is when mm -hmm. One my more time. birthday is on my 11th my birthday is on May 11th. Remember the TH sound. May. Okay, my Claudia. Uh -huh. Is on May 11th. Okay, thank you. Um, Alguien dijo que no había participado el día de ayer? Claudia is going to ask the question. Who didn't participate yesterday? Aha. Uh -huh. Se cómo se llama? Una compañera, pero no sé cómo se llama. Okay, Claudia asked the question to Miriam. Um, Miriam, when is your birthday? Birthday? My birthday is on August. August and the day? 
15th. August 15th. Is that what you say? Yes. Okay. Um, I have shared with you guys the link for you to watch the videos, okay? Miriam, ask the question to Nelson, please. Okay. Nelson, when is your birthday? Birthday. Hi. Hi, Miriam. My birthday is on July 28th. Okay, Nelson, select one of your classmates. Uh, before to continue, Astrid, uh, Tiffany, Sonia, Lilian, Josué, Leticia, Gerardo, Erika, Karen, Yesenia. Por favor, enciendan sus cámaras. Es necesario que tengan en encendidas sus cámaras. En el chat le coloqué el teacher, así como dijo usted ayer, que si teníamos alguna cosa que hacer o algo, que le colocáramos ahí. Yo en un momento me conecto eh, a algo en el trabajo. No puedo tener encendida la cámara. Ok. Quiero ver. Eh, en mi caso, yo estoy conectada doble, porque estoy con mi teléfono y con la computadora. Ahí tengo la, la cámara encendida. Ok, solo recuerden, okay. Solo recuerden que si eh, tienen ambos dispositivos conectados, eh, cuando alguien esté participando, mantengan el audio apagado para que no se escuche interferencia. Eh, teacher. Yes. Permiso para apagar un momento la cámara. Este, me voy a mover hacia otra sala porque aquí hay mucho, mucho ruido. Ah, ok. Permiso. Ok, guys. Uh, thank you for participating. Um, we're going to move to the topic that we are still pending. We couldn't complete yesterday that topic, which is going to be um, going to, okay? So when do we use going to? We use going to for future plans. If you see the chat, you will be able to see that information. Going to for future plans. Plans that you are 100% sure you are going to do, okay? So, before moving forward and asking you questions using going, going to show you the structures, okay? Let's see. For affirmative, you have subject plus a verb to be. plus going to, plus complement, okay? For affirmative questions. Let's see. If you can write down the information on your notebook, that will be great. There you have, for affirmative, Subject plus B plus going to plus verb plus complement. Okay. For example, you can say, I'm going to eat pizza. Okay. If you see, the first person is I. The verb to be am, um. and then you have going to, and the main verb which is eat, plus the complement. What is the complement? Pizza. Is that clear? Yes. Or do you have questions for affirmative sentences? 
Do you have questions or no questions at all? You have questions? No questions. Okay. Okay, by looking at the examples, I want you to give me some examples. Raise your hand if you want to participate. Uh, Gabriel, go ahead, please. Thank you. Can you write the, uh, the for, for, formula? Uh, the formula is on the chat. That is subject plus B plus going to plus verb plus complement. That's the formula that we are going to use. <clears throat> okay, any other, any other participant? Uh, Berosli, go ahead, please. For example, I, I am going to mm -hmm. visit my parents. I'm going to visit my parents. Thank you. Erica says, I'm going to the university in the morning. I'm going to go. Remember that you need to focus on the structure. I'm going to go. Uh, yes, Jose. I am going to play soccer in the park. Excellent. I'm going to play soccer at the park. Okay, at the park. Thank you. Okay. Any other volunteer, please? Okay, I have Edwin and then Milena. Yes, teacher. I'm going to do my homework. I'm going to do my homework. Amalia says, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Yes, great. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any other volunteer? I'm going to study at university. I'm going to study at the university. Yes. Okay. Any other volunteer? Uh, Tiffany, go ahead, please. I am going to visit my family. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let's see, any other volunteer who wants to participate? Um, she is going to invite my friend. One more time. She is going to mm -hmm. invite my friend. Mm, okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, that is for affirmative sentences. Now let's move to the negative sentences. Negative sentences is almost the same. Okay, so you have the subject plus verb to be plus not, plus going to, plus verb, plus complement. There you can see the information on the chat and I'm going to give you some examples. You can say, um, Tiffany, Tiffany is not going to go to the party, is not, going to go to the party, okay? That is my negative 
sentence. As an example, now raise your hands if you want to write down, if you want to uh, give me some examples, okay? Negative sentences. Raise your hands if you want to participate. I have Milena, go ahead, please. I'm not going to talk a lot. One more time. I'm not going to talk a lot. I'm not going to talk a lot, okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, the next one, please. Any other volunteer? I have Jose Riverto. Go ahead. Thank you. I was going to eat at night. One more time. I was going to eat at night. Um, but you are using was, and was is in the past, and we are talking in the present. So you can say, I'm going to okay. eat tonight. I'm, I am going to eat tonight. Yes, thank you. Any other uh, volunteer? Okay, I have, Amalia says he's not going to read a book. Thank you, Amalia. Uh, Jenny, Lisette. Go ahead, please. I'm not going to eat pizza now. Okay. Thank you. Now, I'm going to give you some examples in order to use interrogative form. For interrogative form, that's very easy. The verb to be is going to be at the beginning of the sentence. Then the subject plus going to plus verb, okay, plus complement. And don't forget complement, okay, plus question mark. Don't forget it. For example, um, are you going to practice your English, Nelson, after class? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I'm going to. Or yes, you can also say, yes, I am. I go. Okay. Yes, I am. Sí, sorry, se me olvida la... Tengo que responder con el verbo que me pregunten. Se me olvida eso. Don't worry. Edwin, are you going to play soccer on Saturday? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Excellent. Um, Let's see. Gabriel, is your mother going to cook pupusas on Sunday? Yes, she, she is or she? Yes, she is. Excellent. Okay, by looking at the examples, I want you to ask a question to your classmates. Now, Edwin asked the question to, uh, okay, Edwin, select, select one of your classmates and ask a question, please. Ask a question. Yes, Gerardo. The Sorry. same question, teacher? No. Gerardo. No. Oh, uh, Edwin is going to select Gerardo. Go ahead, please. Gerardo, are you here? Are you with uh, us? Yes. Okay. Edwin, what's the question? Uh, ¿Le puedo preguntar lo mismo, teacher, que me preguntó hace un momento o...? No, you need to create your question. Be creative. Okay. Gerardo, are you going to cook pizza uh, tonight? No. no, I'm not. Okay, Gerardo, select one of your classmates.
Gerardo? Uh, Gabriel. Gabriel, are you here? Yes, yes. Okay. What's the question, Gerardo? Uh, are you going to the park and tomorrow? Are you going to go? Remember the verb. Are you going to go? Are you going to go to the park tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Okay. No, no, I'm not. Okay, Gabriel, select one of your classmates. Brenda. Are you going to travel tomorrow? No, I'm not. Okay, Brenda, select one of your classmates, please. Leticia. Leticia Margarita. Uh, Leticia Margarita. Leticia, are you here? No, I go muy bien. Verashley Rosales. Okay. Este, are you play football? Are you play or are you going to play football or are soccer? You Plays football. Yes, I am. I like it. Okay, great. Okay, thank you guys. Let's see. Um, any other volunteer who wants to participate? <clears throat> Any other volunteer? No more volunteers. I am. Um... Uh-huh. Select one of your classmates, please. Okay. We sell them here. Mm -hmm. Okay. We sell them. Are you going to dance on Friday? <clears throat> one more time. Are you going to dance on Friday? Are you going to dance on Friday? Uh, no, I'm going not dance. No, I'm okay. not going to. Or you can say, no, I'm not. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. Let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Guys, can you see it or not yet? No, but... Not yet? Not yet. Okay. okay, it's all right. How about now? Okay. Right now. Okay, great. Affirmative sentences, negative sentences, interrogative and short answers. But before moving to those uh, examples, I want you to double check the formula. 
this is the formula for affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and interrogative. For affirmative sentences, I said that you are going to say, or you are going to write first the subject, the verb to be, going to the verb and the complement. Okay? So, if you didn't write the information down, this is the opportunity for you to write it down. Now, you also have the negative form. The formula for the negative form is subject plus B plus not plus going to plus verb plus complement. And the interrogative form, you have the verb be is at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. Then you have the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. And also the question mark. This is the question mark at the end of the sentence or at the end of the question. You, you don't have to forget it. Okay. You need to remember all the time, the question mark. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Um, did you write it down or do you still need some time to write it down on your notebook? Do you write it down? Did everybody write it down? Ya todos lo, lo escribieron. ¿O puedo continuar? Yes. 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 Yeah. Ok. Thank you so Let's much. Continue. Let's continue. Thank you. Now, let me move this part over here. A little bit here. No se le escucha, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. I was on mute. For the affirmative sentences, thank you. Um, you had the first example. I'm going to play. I'm going to play basketball. I'm going to play soccer. I'm going to play tennis. Okay. Great. If you see, you have, a, for the affirmative, you have the subject first. What are the subjects? You, you, we, you, and they. they. Okay. And the verb, and the verb to be? Are. Are. Okay. Excellent. Are. This is the verb to be that you are going to use with those subject pronouns. You, we, I mean, you, we, and they are and you also have the structure going to okay and here you have the verb which is play and the complement you can say uh you okay. are going to play yeah. soccer basketball etc is that yeah. clear one more time subject okay subject. <laughs> Plus verb ver to be. B or verb to be. Yes. Plus going to. Two. Plus verb. verb. Plus verb. Complement. complement. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And for he, she, and it which are the third person, you have he, she, and it. And what is the verb the bird to be? Is. He, she, is. 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 Okay, you can say he is, she is, 
and it is. It is. It is. And the structure going to right. And verb. you have verb. the verb plus verb. complement. Yeah. Okay. He is going to play at the park. He is going to play uh, in the stadium, etc. For the negative form, you have the example. The example, I'm, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play. This is the example. Look at the subjects. What are the subjects? I, you, I, you, are you, we, you, they. We, okay. They. Excellent. So with I, the verb to be is am. Um. Um, with you, we are and in. they are. aren't. Are, aren't. 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 aren't, or you can say are not. Are, 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 are not. not. Are not. Aren't. Or aren't. Aren't is the contraction for are not. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now, if you see you, we, and they, and the verb to be in negative form, verb to be aren't, okay? Plus going to and the verb. Is that clear? Yes. So you can say yes. you are not going to play on Sunday, okay? You are not going to play at the park. All right. And you have for the third person, he, she, and it. Agreed. And the bird to be? Is. Isn't. Isn't. Or is not. Is not. Is the same. Isn't or is not is the same. And you also have the structure, which is going to and the verb, okay? She isn't going to play with her friends. He isn't going to play basketball on Sunday. For the interrogative, if you see the interrogative, the verb to be here is at the beginning. Look, um, at the beginning, am I, am I going to am play? I, am I going to play? play. <laughs> okay. And for you, we, and they, what is the verb to be? Are. Are. Okay. Are you going to play? Are you going to play? And if you see that question mark is very important. Okay. Okay. Are you going to play? And for he, she, and it, what is the verb to be? It's. It's. Is. 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 is she going to play soccer? Is he going to play basketball? Is she going to play at the park? Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And keep in mind that you also have short answers. Short answers. For example, if I if I say I'm going to play soccer, or am I going to play soccer? Okay, what will be your answer? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, yeah. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. However, if I ask you, am I going to play? Am I going to play soccer? You are going to answer, yes. You are. Or. They are. Or no, no 
No, <laughs> you aren't. Is that clear? Yes. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo, pre, si yo me pregunto, hey, Nelson, ¿jugaré fútbol? Si hago esa pregunta, e incluso en español, si yo digo, hey, Nelson, ¿jugaré fútbol? Tu respuesta no va a ser, yes, I am. No, no va a decir. Sí, que sería, no, you are. No, you aren't. No, you are. Or yes, you are. Or yes, you are. ¿Por qué? Porque yo me estoy, yo le estoy preguntando a Nelson, hey Nelson, uh, ¿jugaré fútbol? Entonces él no va a decir, yes, I am. ¿Por qué? Porque no tiene sentido. ¿Sí? The, the, the answer, short answer is going, to, is going to be, yes, you are, or no, you aren't. ¿Es that clear? Yes. yes. Am I going to play? Am I going to play soccer? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Or no, no you aren't. aren't. Or yes. no, you aren't. Um. Questions? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. If I ask you, Griselda, are they, look, are they going to play? What will be your answer? Positive? Santa. Mm, no. Nelson, yeah. if yeah, I ask. Are. Okay. Yes, they are. Okay, Nelson, if I ask you, are they going to play? What would be your answer? Yes, they are. And negative? Yes, they are. Him. No, negative. Not. Don't invent. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. No. no. Okay. No, they aren't. Excellent. No, they are yes okay if i ask you amalia are we are we going to play what will be your answer yes we are yes we are. and the negative not we with are Aaron. excellent no we, we are not Excellent. Great. Okay. If I ask you, uh, let's see, Claudia or Claudia, if I ask you, are you, are you going to play? What will be your answer? Positive and negative. Jose Heriberto, if I ask you, are you going to play? What will be your positive answer? Yes, I am. And negative? No, I'm not. Excellent. Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Sí, porque si ustedes lo traducen al español, si le digo, jugarás fútbol, entonces él va a decir sí o no. Si sí jugaré, no jugaré. Pero no va a decir, uh, yes, you are, no, you are not. Porque yo le estoy preguntando a él. ¿Sí? Si le digo, ¿jugarás fútbol? Él va a decir, si sí jugaré o no jugaré. ¿Ok? Pero si yo le digo, ¿jugarás fútbol? Y él dice, uh, yes, you are. Or no, you are, no, you aren't. Ahí me está diciendo, si sí jugarás. ¿O no jugarás? Cuando yo le estoy preguntando a él si él jugará. ¿Estamos claros? Yes. Yes, it's clear. Ok, great. And we also have the verb to be is, right? Is he going to play? What will be the positive answer? Yes. He is. Yes, he is. Or no, he's no, him. No, he's not. 
No, he, he isn't. isn't or he is not. Excellent. If I say, is she going to play? What will be the answer? Yes, she yes, is. She or is. Or no, she, she is. isn't. Yes, she is. Or no, she isn't. Yes, she is. Or no, no she, she isn't. isn't. Yes. Okay, if I say, is it going to play? What would be the answer? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Or, or no, not, it, it isn't. 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 Yes. Or not, it's not. It is or no. It is. It isn't. Excellent. Okay, great. Thank you. Now, let's move to the next one. There you have some questions. And I'm going to ask those questions to some of you. The question goes to Milena. What are you, what are you going to do after class, Milena? What are you I'm going to going, do after class? Mm -hmm. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. So, Nelson, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am I am going to to the work. I'm going to to work to go I'm, to to work work. I'm going okay. to go to work. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to work. Okay. Now, uh, Jose, if I ask you. What are you going to do on weekends? What will be your answer? I am going to visit my family. I'm going to visit my family. Edwin, if I ask you, what are you going to do on vacation? What will be your answer? I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to go to the beach. Elisa, if I ask you, which are your plans within five years? Jose Ruben, if I ask you, what are you going to go on your next vacation? What will be your answer? Liliana, if I ask you, where are you going to go on your next vacation? What will be your answer? I'm going to go to the beach and I'm going to go to the cinema with my daughter. Okay, thank you. Leticia, if I ask you, what time are you going to wake up tomorrow? What will be your answer? I go to work many things. I'm going to do many things, okay. Miriam, if I ask you, um, who are you going to visit on weekends? What will be your answer? Going to visit my family. Okay. So, Sonia, if I ask you, what activities are you going to do on weekends? Yesenia, what are you going to study the next year? Okay, Karen, where are uh, where are you going to study the next year? Chicos, me escuchan. Yes. 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 Okay. Les he preguntado a cuatro y no me responden. Okay. Amalia, um, yes. what country are you going to visit within two years? I going to, going to visit Guatemala. Okay. Jose Heriberto, 
where are you going to work the next year? I am I am going to to work. Uh, repeat, please, for. Uh, where are you going to work the next year? Um, I am I am going to work in Guatemala. Okay, Astrid, where are you going to buy your own house? Um, repeat, please. Where are you going to uh, buy your own house? Um, in El Salvador? I'm going to buy uh, my own house in El Salvador. Complete sentences, please. Okay. I'm going to buy my own house in El Salvador. Okay. Areli. When are you going to travel out the country? Uh, I am going to uh, to travel in the United States. Okay, Gabriel, what's going to be your next purchase? I purchase. Uh huh. Purchase in Spanish is purchase. Propositos. No. No. What is I I don't know what is purchase. Tu próxima adquisición or tu próxima ah, compra. Okay. I'm going to uh, buy the new car. A new car. Okay. Excellent. Great. I know that right no lo vayas a no nos lo vayas a aventar encima. Ok. <laughs> ok. Thank you. Now, let's move to the platform. If you can see the platform, just let me know, ok? Sí, chel, tengo una pregunta. Yes. Well, uh -huh. yes. What's your sí, question? Sí, hace, bueno, cuando estaba aplicándonos respecto a cómo responder al momento de realizar una oración o una pregunta, más bien dicho, usando el going, mm -hmm. eh, nos acaba de eh, enseñar con respuestas mm -hmm. cortas, pero al principio uh -huh. de la, en el desarrollo de la clase, recuerdo que mencionó un tipo de respuesta que llevaba un tú. Al final no, no me quedó, bueno, no le capté la idea ni tampoco lo apunté. Entonces quisiera preguntarle cuál es, cómo es ese tipo de respuesta. No sé si me di a explicar o me confundí más. Mm, repetímela porque sí me, me enredaste. Hola. Hola, teacher. Sí. Sí, me, me captó la pregunta o, o no me no, voy a explicar. Me enredé. Volver a formular. Vaya, este. Vaya, eh, estamos viendo ahorita en cómo responder cuando se utiliza, se formula una pregunta usando el going. Going to. Eh, cuando es el sujeto. Ajá. No, la, la respuesta es yes, I am o no, I, no I'm not. Uh -huh. y todo eso, lo que acabamos, lo sí. que acabamos de ver uh -huh. pero en el desarrollo de la clase, al principio recuerdo que mm, no, sé si, no sé si fue a mí o lo tiró así a la clase que hay un tipo de respuesta que al final lleva un tú no le capté, esa no le capté el momento ese que dijo la respuesta esa y uh -huh. tampoco le tomé nota entonces le pregunto uh -huh. para aclararlo un poquito no sé si lo confundí o me enchivolé todo yo. No sé. Eh, no, creo que malentendiste. Porque las respuestas eh, no llevan tú al final. Solo va a ser. Recuerden que hay, hay preguntas simples en las que usted va a decir sí o no. Por ejemplo, ¿Are you going to go to the park? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. ¿Sí? Pero también Hombre. están las están las preguntas que requieren mayor información, como las últimas que les hice. What are you going to do after class? Con este tipo de preguntas, ustedes no van a decir yes, I am, or no, I'm not. 
En ese caso, ustedes van a dar información adicional. Por ejemplo, what are you going to do after class? I'm going to eat my dinner. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to talk to my friends. Si se fijan, no están dando solo un sí o no, sino que están dando información adicional. ¿Y pueden ver las estructuras acá? Yes, teacher. Ok. Si te fijas, acá están las afirmativas, las negativas y las interrogativas. Entonces, acá, aquí están las short answers. Entonces, si yo pregunto, am I going to play soccer? Am I going to play soccer? La respuesta va a ser, yes, you are, or no, you are not. Or, yes, you are, or no, you aren't. <coughs> aren't es lo mismo que digas, are not. ¿Sí? Eh, ¿Responde eso a tu pregunta? Ok, teacher. ¿O tenés alguna otra duda? No, quizás escuché mal en el transcurso de la clase. Ah, pero sí había escuchado dos formas de responder, pero quizás yo escuché mal. No te preocupes. Vaya, estas son las la formas que ustedes van a responder. Con las preguntas simples. ¿Sí? Y las preguntas que llevan where, when, why, uh, how, which, todas esas ustedes requieren de información adicional. Pero eso lo vamos a ir viendo poco a poco. ¿Estamos claros? Ok. Three more minutes and then you are free to go. Now, let's move to the platform in which we're going to complete some exercises related to going to. Hopefully, we're going to have enough time. Just give me one or two minutes. I think it's loading. Can you see the computer screen? Está cargando. But it's loading, actually. There you go. Okay, yesterday we finished this part. Okay, we're going to continue with the next part. Just give me some seconds. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to read it. Let's see. The future with be going to plus conversation. Happy birthday. Uh, the future with be going to plus conversation. Now, let's see if we are able to listen to this conversation before letting you go. Quizás porque hay gran tormenta. Hay interferencia en la señal por la tormenta, me imagino. Sí. No está cargando la página. Ok. Nos queda un minuto. Para no quitarles más de su tiempo, solo son ejercicios para reforzar lo que ya vimos. Entonces, eso lo vamos a eh, completar el día de mañana. 
porque sí era importante que este, um, vieran la estructura del going to. Entonces, antes de dejarlos ir, para no quitarles el tiempo, eh, ¿tienen alguna duda, pregunta o algo que no les haya quedado claro? Eh, el teacher, eh, uh -huh. yo creo que el compañero eh, se refería a las respuestas del, del yes, I do, pero eso es cuando lo formula... Eh, la pregunta de otra forma, no con el going to. Yo creo que por allí va lo, lo que decía el compañero del, del, del do. Ah, bueno, es que eso uh -huh. eh, esa es, una es lo que estructura, yo él. Esa es una estructura diferente del. Uh -huh. uh, eso se llama el presente simple. Y lo que hemos visto es el going uh -huh. to para futuro. Uh -huh. Entonces, el do. Eso es totalmente diferente. No sé si lo vieron en, en el nivel anterior. Yes. Yes. Sí, lo vi. Yes. Y el de ahora no. es el going to. Sí. Oh, yeah. Por ejemplo, con el do, eh, do you like, do you like uh, to play soccer? And the answer yeah, is, I going to, yes, I do. No, I don't. I do. Uh, do you like to drink chocolate? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do, do you like do you like to work in, in job? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Pero eso es algo eso es algo totalmente diferente a lo que hemos visto el día de ahora. Vale, ¿alguna otra pregunta? ¿Todo claro? Iba iba das das Does and doesn't. Eso es para he, she, and it. Pero eso, como le dije, es un tema totalmente diferente al que hemos visto ahora. ¿Ok? okay. Posiblemente en el camino eh, hagamos algún refuerzo o algo, algún ejercicio que nos pueda reforzar. No sé si aparte de esto tiene alguna otra pregunta. ¿En qué no, momento no. se usa? Ok, no. levanten la mano, por favor. Uh, Griselda, yes. dime. Solamente, este, ¿en qué momento se usa el be going to? El going to, eso es para cuando vos vas a hablar eh, planes a futuro. Cuando tenés planes sí. a futuro. Sí, cuando se le pone un be antes. Mm, Por ejemplo. Eh, no, digamos, este, como lo que estaba a punto de explicarnos. Uh -huh. Cuando se usa el be, going to, no sé si se usa el verbo con ing. No, con ese no. El going to eh, es la estructura de los planes a futuro. Y luego el verbo es en forma, for, forma normal. Por ejemplo, I'm no going hace. to eat. I'm going to play. I'm going to work. I'm going to study. I'm going to listen. I'm going to pay attention. ¿Ok? Porque verdad que si se pone, a, si se le agrega el verbo ING, estaría en presente participio, ¿verdad? Eh, no. no. Si se le agrega el ING, están hablando de, el, de un futuro continuo, pero eso es algo ah, totalmente okay. diferente que no quiero tocarlo para no confundirlos. Ok. Es como, hablar como, el, verbo, es como el verbo do, usado como auxiliar y usado como el verbo en sí. ¿Perdón? Utilizando oh, sí. como auxiliar para una pregunta. Aunque ¿Cuál? es el verbo... El do. Es que no hemos visto el do. Vaya, solo quiero para aclarar. El, el do y el das, eso es para presente simple. Eso no lo hemos tocado, no lo hemos visto. Si lo vieron con eh, los niveles anteriores y tenemos la oportunidad de en ese nivel hacer un refuerzo, lo vamos a hacer. Para que no se confundan, enfóquense en el going to. Les voy a mandar otros ejercicios. 
en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahorita lo que hemos visto es el going to para planes a futuro. Futuro. Y el do y el das que ustedes ya okay. vieron o lo vieron anteriormente, eso es solo para sí, actividades sí. en el presente. Y lo que Presente. estamos viendo es actividades en el futuro. 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 El, el, en la plataforma está el video, ahí tal vez les ayuda un poco a aclarar. Ese video está bien y, y ahí aclara bien que es una expresión en futuro, el going to. Ok, perfecto. Les voy a mandar un, un, un refuerzo más. Nos quedamos okay. hasta acá. Y este, okay. espero que tengan buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.